Windy Wears here and today we're going to be looking over the Nike SB Force 58 in Dutch Blue. Let's have a quick rundown of the materials in the box and then I'll state why I got these, um, why I think they're good and why I think they're bad. Now starting off with the teal box, came in a, a, a teal SB box which is really nice to see. On the label it states Nike SB Force 58 Dutch Blue Black White. Now I got this in my normal SB uh, sizing where I go half size up and I feel like it fits fantastically. I would have to say I am a wider set foot but I probably would advise to go a half size up even if you are a bit slimmer because these were like just right even when it comes to the length up towards the toe. Now looking around I thought wow this is a beautiful silhouette and it is quite affordable as well especially for um, a Nike product and when you're skating, especially if you're skating in the shoe, you want to get more of an affordable shoe. So this is $69.95 and the materials on it as well I feel are really nice. But let's start off with the bottom of the sole. So bottom of the sole reminded me of the grip of a Niger 2. Apart from on these, on both of them, you have the swoosh rather than one having an SB at the bottom. Going up, it's got a slight speckling to this white sole and it has a raised, ra raised area around that toe box. Only slightly, but hopefully will add to a bit of protection there. What I would say is this is a really firm, stiff, sort of sole. It doesn't have that cushioning that you'd have on a Niger on the inside and it's just really, really firm. Now, as well, that leads me on to the fact that the insole doesn't have any zoom in it, so it doesn't have your little cushion that you'd get with, say, like a Nike SB. It's just a thin insole, so I would probably advise to get yourself a cushioned insole just for comfort, especially when these are rock solid soles. Going up to the material on top, it's majority a suede. You've got black suede around the toe box through the lace holes quite a nice feel to it hopefully it will be nice and durable then you've got the Dutch blue suede on the toe box and you've got this little miniature swoosh on there as well always cool to have a miniature swoosh and it'd be really cool to see that all frayed and whatnot whatnot when you um, rock these and then on the hill Dutch blue again the suede, it's quite a nice thickness to this suede and it feels really cushioned. Up to uh, the heel, nice padding there, sort of folds in, easy to slide these on. Nice silky nylon, black so it's going to hide the really nice cushioning feel around that heel. I feel like it's going to be very comfortable and you've got the sort of oval pads inside like you would get with a Nike SB as well got a padded sort of tongue not really fat padded like a, uh, like a dunk but really nice feel to it silky again you've got Dutch blue uh, colored print on there which is Nike SB Force 58 and I think this tongue almost has this sort of like racing or like a like a race seat look to it and I think that is really cool only get the stock black laces with these and there is no sort of lace protection there's no way to hide your laces so they are exposed and like I said you don't have a spare pair of laces so that's something to be aware of and then you have this canvas like material behind that quite plasticky swoosh and now this is a really nice feel to it, it almost has a nice padding to it as well and it's got that sort of almost like coated feel to it, like a Kaha jacket, which I really, really like. Now, I think that these are a fantastic alternative, especially if you're a fan of um, Nike SB Dunks, because they are really hard to get. And even at retail, they're a lot more expensive than these. And if you're paying resale, even more expensive. So if you want a really clean look, these are one to grab, but I do feel if you are used to the feeling of dunks, if you like the feel of them on your feet, these will be different obviously because of that sole, because of the cushioning inside, obviously the shape and what everything really, but I think that these are a great alternative. Now, 
I'm gonna put these on with a uh, pair of shorts, a baggy fit, and maybe a slim fit jean. Uh, I think these are gonna look best for shorts because I think all shoes look best for shorts, and well, lows anyway. And I will see if I can pull out a pair of white laces because I think it'd be quite nice to see these with white laces. And also it would have been nice to see them with blue, but I have no blue laces that will go with these. So it's always good to have a really good cheap alternative that looks fantastic. Now they come in also the salt pink and I think there is like a black colorway coming out as well. The salt pink isn't really for me. I prefer this colorway, but have a look at them as well. See what you think, but let's go with the on feet. Thank you for watching. Squizzy out.